just go ahead and fry that off flint lock, Mr. Ethan Fry. I'm gonna catch that dinner long before we hit him. As much business being here as we do. This is still Paws Land. You're wrong, Hiram. Look behind us. It's a double trunk oak. We're not in our place anymore. Be quiet, Ned. You're crazy jealous of Ethan Fry, aren't you? you really got it in for him. I never thought I'd. Say I said that. to be quiet, Ned. This is still Paws Land. You hear me? Now he's on private property. Are you gonna say different? Are you, Ned? Are you? Hoven boys are the strangest looking bucks I ever trapped. I'm gonna get you good. Get me out of your net. Come on. Hey, hey, what about me? Tell me, Hiram, what'd you have in mind if you caught my little brother? I taught him a lesson. Kind of all you fries needed to learn a long time ago. Fair enough. Why don't you start with me? You shot that buck on Holcomb land. I shot that buck on free, open land. Liar, I saw you. You brought him down in our place, and I'm gonna tell my pa. Next time you want to teach a fry a lesson, I suggest you bring your brother along. You'll deal with me sooner than you think, Ethan Fry. I guess we taught him a thing or two. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. He couldn't hurt me if he tried. Hey, you want to help me get some cinnamon sticks from Mr. Pearls' store? Yeah, I sure love cinnamon sticks. They're not for you. For Ma, it's Ma's birthday today. Today. Is it right for Aaron to come home? What's that buggy and those horses doing out in front of the place? Maybe we got coming in for Ma's birthday. What do you think, Ethan? I think we got trouble. Call it whatever you will, son. There's no point in trying to deny it. You took what was mine, Ethan Fry, from my land. I'd steal it. I didn't shoot that buck on your land, Mr. Holcomb. I saw you. You shot it on the Holcomb side of that double trunk oak. That's not true, Hiram, and you know it. Ned was with me. He saw it. Tell him, Ned. Tell Pa who's lying. Me or Ethan Fry. Talk up if you got something to say, Ned. The truth is all we want.
Yes, sir. Buck was on Holcomb land when Ethan shot it. Thought you were better than that, Ned. You got one lying, and the other one swearing by him. That buck was on free, open land, Mr. Holcomb. I didn't come here to argue. I got witnesses, and the law's clear. Buck is worth $200. We don't have anywhere near that kind of money, and you know it. Indeed, I do. That's why I had the court draw up papers. Can you read, Mr. Fry? My wife and boys do my reading for me. I have them read it to you so that you understand it. Short of it is, if I don't get my money, I'll have your boy working on my property as a bond servant for the next two years. He's gonna run, Pa. I can see it in his eyes. That's what he's thinking, all right. Can't say that I blame him. Except there is something you should know. Still not being 21 and a minor, your father's going to be responsible for your debt in full. It makes no difference to me who pays. Believe me, you'll pay one way or the other. Whoa, son, son. All written down there, Mr. Fry. Mrs. Fry, you have a fine birthday. It'd be nice having you bonded to us, Ethan. I'm rather looking forward to it. What's gonna happen to Ethan, Pa? Are they gonna hurt him? No one's gonna hurt him, son. Not while I'm still breathing. Just get on with it. I think I need a cover-up or something. Uh, here, is this what you had in mind? Perfect. Darn it all! <sighs> Jamie, practice makes perfect, but right now we have a lot of work to do, okay? Wait, wait, look at this one. I'm thinking about charging for this one. Come on, sweetheart, I said scoot. take all those with you, son. I'm not, Pa. Just the ones Dr. Bryan gave me. You pick three or four that you can carry. Yes, sir. I think I got everything that I need. Now that's the way to pack for where we're going real light. Would one of you boys take the pack, put it out in the buckboard? I got it. No, it's okay. I'll do it. I said I got it. Hey, will you stop being so stubborn? It's way too heavy for you. Thing? No, sir. Cricket's got four legs of his own. That leaves your hands free. Well, Cricket, we tried. I guess you have to walk with the rest of us. What's wrong? We've lived here for so long. There's so much of us in this place. It's all happening too fast. It's gotta be fast. The more distance we put between us and the Holcombs, the less chance they have to find us. Then they'll stop looking, and by then, we'll live a new life. A better one for all of us. Not for all of us, Ben. Not for Aaron. He's not like you, or Ethan, or even Jamie, for that matter. He doesn't fit in because he's not a hunter or the outdoor kind. 
Sarah, he may have been sickly as a boy, but he is almost a man now. We've got to let him grow up. What do you want him to do out there? You want him to chop down trees and go hunting, fight off the Indians? Then Dr. Bryant promised that he would help Aaron get into medical school. That's what Aaron wants. That's his dream. But let me send him to my parents in Philadelphia. And why not? They'll, they'll take him in. They'll make sure that he goes on to medical school, please. Sarah, you haven't seen your parents since we were married. Philadelphia's less than 100 miles from here, and not a word. Not when any of the boys were born. Not when Aaron almost died. They don't care. They live in their fine house with their servants. And they've never forgiven you for embarrassing them by running off with me. Why would they want to take in my son? Because they're older now. Because they have no one else. Maybe they're a little lonely. Ben, please. He's their grandson. Ben, let me try this. Send him up there. They'll take him in. I know they will. Trust me on this. Ben, don't save one son at the expense of another. Aaron wants to go to Philadelphia and try. Father! So I got everything tied down to the wagon bed. Where'd you put the axe? I left it in the stump by the barn. There's also some grain in there. You should get that on the buckboard. Beautiful drawing. Dr. Bryant says that you're good enough to do the artwork for medical books someday. I can't go to Philadelphia, Ma. Please listen to me. You may never have another chance. If you come with us now, it could change your whole life. Everything you've always wanted. What good is it if I have to go without you and the rest of the family, Ma? Telling us how important family is. How much you miss yours? I don't want to be like this. I'll be a doctor one day, Ma. Maybe not the way we thought it would happen. But it'll happen. You'll see. You mad at me for not wanting to go? No. No, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I guess your father was right. You are a man now. I have to let you make your own decisions. or how much it costs. I want that Ethan Fry and his father brought back to me. Yes, sir. You need a warrant to go after him, Mr. Hawking. Then ride into town and have Judge Ellis swear one out. I'm throwing in $100 when you bring them back. Both of you go with it. But, Pa, it's crazy. It was a buck. That's all. It couldn't have been worth more than $10, $15 at the most. All this is just about a deer. You're wrong, boy. It's about the respect the name Holcomb gets, and the fear it fires up in the hearts of those who try to take what's ours. If one man, one time, shows them they can get away with something, everything falls apart. Now, you figure maybe that's worth more than 10 or $15? Yes, sir. Now, you two started something. Go and finish it. Yes, sir. And don't come back without them. 
burn it to the ground. Ethan, you stay here with your mom. I don't want anybody giving her any trouble. Yes, sir. Aaron, you come in and give me a hand. Hey, whoa, whoa, where are you going? I just want to make sure Paul gets some cinnamon sticks. You told him enough times, he knows. Be watching you two. Howdy. John Kipps the name. What can I do for you folks? I need a few things. Some flour, a little coffee, um, ten pound lead for shot, uh, some lashings and pitch. Are you building a raft? Well, if you're headed down river, you might want to sell them horses in that buckboard. I was thinking of holding on to the wagon using the, the boards for flooring. Hey, how about show me that new rope trick you've been practicing, huh? Sure. Two cents, please. What? Charging on this one. Hey, fetch boy. Let's get in. Let's get go. Let's go down the first. Hey, what you got there, boy? Let's get it. Ma, hold this. Stay out of it. Ethan. Ethan. It's mine. It's mine. How about them horses? Uh, how much you take for that? All right, get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. I've been here for over a quarter hour and I'm tired of watching you two. Don't come back unless you got some pelts to trade or you stole enough so you can buy something. Let him be! I said let him be! I don't like Indians. Never have. Not many of us around here do. Stealing everything he's got. He didn't even do anything. It's just because he's an Indian. It's still none of your business. He ain't even gonna try and stop it. You agree with what they're doing, Father? Not especially. It doesn't make any difference. It's the way things are with the Indians. It's been that way since I can remember. I didn't make the rules. I just take care of mine. Ethan! Let's go, Ethan!
Ethan, go get your brother Aaron. Yes, sir. you so long. What are you up to now? I'm sorry. I found something. Dr. Bryant told me about it. This plant grows in the shady side of the riverbank. They have used to break fever. Tied down, Ethan. Yes, sir. Ready to go. Okay, now remember, if anything happens and we split up, you stay with the river, you light a fire at night, we won't lose each other. Talk and some people draw. Maybe I should start drawing. So, what are you going to do with that one? I was thinking about giving this one to you. I tell you how beautiful it is in the Shenandoah. Wait till you see it. It'll be hard at first, clearing the land and building the cabin, but mm. once we're done, it'll be ours. No one lording over us and telling us what to do, how to do it. Twenty years. Twenty years staying in another man's place. There were times I didn't think you'd stick it out. Mm. There were times I didn't think I could stick it out. Mm. Learn to go back into the woods. Live free. So, what stopped you? Good was living free without you. Look, water, boys. Hold on tight. How would you get a hold of Jamie? Quick. Hold him down. It's getting rough.
here, Cricket? 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 Find him. Cause she's drowned. Come on, Jamie. Now don't talk like that. Cricket's like a cat. He's got nine lives. You know that. Hey, you remember the time he got in a fight with that raccoon? We all thought that was the end of Cricket. Yeah, the doctor him up some. I sure did. It was worth it. See Mom and Pa again. Sure we are, Jamie. They're all right, you'll see. They're dead too. Aren't they? No, they're not, Jamie. That's not true. We're gonna meet up with them somewhere down river. Remember what Pa said? Keep to the river light of fire at night? Remember that? Well, that's what Ethan said we're gonna do. But I, I bet they find us before we find them. Aaron, Jamie, come here quick. Cricket? Come on! Let's go! Sketchbook. All right. Now it'll be dark soon. So we'll wait till morning, and then we'll find that part where the river widens. Because that's where they'll be. Right now, let's just build a fire. You go see if you can find us something to eat. Jamie, you and me are going to go get some firewood. Shh. What's the matter, Jamie? Cricket. Ethan? You sleeping? No. You think Ma and Pa are right? I don't know. I don't know how far they got. If the river took them over those falls. I don't know. What do we do if we can't find him? Do what we gotta do. We stick together, stay strong. For, for Jamie. I wanna tell you something. I never could've done what you did. When? Back in the town when they were stealing those pelts. When you jumped in to help. I'm sorry. About what? For staying there and not fighting. Not trying to help you. 
not do with my own brother what he did for a stranger. There was nothing you could have done. Don't worry about it. I'm really glad you're here with us. I'm not much use out here in the open. I wouldn't know what to do. You'll do fine. Go to sleep. Good night, Aaron. Yeah, good night. Water bends the light. What's that supposed to mean? It means the fish is further down than it looks. So you gotta aim a bit deeper and a little bit off to the side. Since when did you become an expert on fishing? I don't know nothing about fishing. Dr. Bryant taught me about light refraction. Dr. Bryant. Well, come here, Aaron. You try it. No, no, come on. We're hungry, it's all we got, so if you know how to do it, Mr. Dr. Bryant, let's do it. Come on. Get up there. Help, Harry! Help, Ethan! Help! We got trouble! Help! Help! I got it! I did it! I got it! I thought you said you wouldn't be any help out here. Hey, Jamie, come here! You gotta look at this! Aaron's caught a big one! Jamie! Help! Ethan! Harry! Help! What did he get into this time? Good job. Harry, I need your boat! Bear, it's a nice, tasty fish. Want it? Run like the dickens. Come on. What smoke? I don't see anything. Well, come here. You'll see. Okay. Now you see it? It's right there, right at the bend of the river. I see it, I see it. Oh, it's just like Father said, huh? We let a fire stay close to the river. We found him. Wait a minute, it takes us more than an hour to get up there. We won't make it for dark. So what? They won't break camp till morning. Let's go! Come Let's on. Let's go. All right, boys, come on. Here we go. This is crazy. We don't know where they are. We don't even know where they're headed. We know they built rafts, and we know they're on the river. But where? The river runs for hundreds of miles. I don't know about you, Ned. But I know why I'm here. I want Ethan Fry. I want to watch him squirm every time he sees my shadow. I want to own him. How about you, Tavish? You know why you're here? Hundred dollars is reason enough. Besides, you want to have to go back and face your pa without them fries. Well, well, well. Looks like we got reason to be here. So you go on, right back home, and when you see Pa, why don't you tell him you think he's crazy? It's them! It's Mom Pa! No, 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 wait, Jamie, it's not them! Jamie, no! <sighs> don't worry, we're not gonna hurt you. We're not gonna do anything to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. I'm Ethan Fry. 
My name is Julindit. And this is Aaron. And Jamie. Hi. I'm sorry if I'm staring at you. I just never thought that I would see you again. He is my grandfather. We are Delaware. We were going back to our village when we were attacked by Seneca. What happened? I'm not hurt, but... Castaloga was wounded in the fight. But he managed to kill two of them before they ran off. Maybe my brother can help. He, he knows something about doctrine. No, no, Ethan. I really don't know all that much. Please, do something for him. He's been bleeding since it happened. I shouldn't have built a fire because the Seneca might still be around. But he was so cold. Probably because he lost too much blood. beads of this belt tell the history of our people. It speaks of my grandfather, great chief and leader of the Delaware. I will bury him here and return with others to bring him back to our village. This is not a parting, Grandfather. This is only the start of your great journey that I too will someday take, and we will be united once again. Will Mom and Bobby take on the same journey? Will I ever get to see him again? Someday? To their village. How far away is it? Two, maybe three days. I'm not sure. Depends on how fast they push us. How come you speak English so well? Many Indians speak English. Why do you not speak a native tongue? What makes you so sure it belongs to the family we're looking for? You said five. Three boys, a mother and a father. Ain't that so? Yes, 
That's what I saw. It's over. Finished. They probably all drowned. Oh, you know they drowned for sure, do you? Huh? You seen the dead bodies with your own eyes? There ain't no bodies. They ain't drowned. What makes you so sure? Tracks here. Nail down boots, not moccasins. Two men and a boy. I knew it. I told you they're still alive. You know this country pretty good, don't you? Can you track it? Why, you offer me a job tracking? Well, you can make some real money. Ten, maybe fifteen dollars. Make it twenty and I'll find God for you. What will they do with us when we get back to their village? I do not know. They may keep you to trade with the white men, if there is a reason. My pa used to trade with the Indians when he lived alone in the woods. He said they were crazy mean! I know the Seneca. They are not crazy mean. A Seneca will take a captive into his lodge to share his home fires and, and take them into their lives. How many white men do you know who would do the same for an Indian? Not all white men feel the same way about Indians. I know. I saw how you helped that trader in Rivertown. I just jumped in. I wasn't even thinking. No, Ethan, you were thinking. With your heart. Why are you here in the first place? I am a member of the nation called Delaware. When I was a young girl, my people did battle with the Seneca. A young Seneca girl was killed, and I was taken in by them to replace that life. I was adopted by them. But it is now time for me to return to my people. That is why my grandfather came and stole me from the Seneca village. That is why he was killed. So why do these men leave you untied? Free to run away whenever you please. There are many ways to tie a person. They know I will not run away again. Susaga ayaskanoga. Susaga ayaskanoga. Yeah, go, go. Well, from here on, there ain't no trick to tracking them. Question is, how are you gonna get them once I lead you to them? What do you mean? The grave of a Delaware chief from that pouch you see there. Seneca must have killed him, took those boys you're hunting. Now I can lead you to him. But fighting with the Seneca ain't part of the bargain. I had a blazes with the Seneca. I'm not asking you to fight. It'll be worth your while. Just lead us to them. We'll take care of the rest. Ethan Fry belongs to me.
you in it? What's happened? Where are they taking you? It was agreed before my grandfather came for me that I would marry the eldest son of the Sachem, Stakuti. We'll follow the river upstream. Guys. We'll find them. Suppose the water carried them past us when we got to shore. What if we didn't see them? No. They never made it down this far. The raft broke up. We saw it. See if you can find the pebble. All right, it happens. Everybody gets lucky once in a while. But this one will really get you. It's called the display button trick. <coughs> Are you okay? Want to see another one? More magic? You got any shiny beads you don't want to lose it? Girls, not my clothes. Please don't take my clothes. Oh, great. Just great. Hanawa is sick. He breathes with difficulty. I bet Aaron could do something. He's been learning from Dr. Bryant. Want me to ask him? No. The medicine man will help him. He's trying to restore harmony to his body. He will be fine by tomorrow. Go. Sick. Mom Pa used to bring me a present. It always made me feel better. 
you feel fine in the morning. Those noises. If the Sachem thinks that you are ungrateful, he will be insulted. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to insult him, but I still don't think I can eat that. Can I talk to you? This marriage, is it something you want? I was eight years old when I was taken and adopted by the Seneca. I was treated well and I have learned to respect and love them. When I was asked by the clan mothers, to marry Stakute, I agreed because it was good for the clan. That was before my grandfather came for me. Is it something that you want? If I cannot return to my own people, then becoming Stakute's wife is something I must do. But does he love you? Because when I saw you that first time, I couldn't take my eyes off you. And then when you turned the corner and left my sight, I wanted to run after you. I thought that I would never see you again. And then when I saw you on the river, I wasn't even surprised. It was as if it was supposed to happen. It was supposed to happen. I knew I would see you again. How? Because I had dreams about you. Dreams are visions. They always come true. I believe what my grandfather used to tell me. That eyes that meet the way ours did and hold tightly are meant to meet again many times. I will never forget you. What am I doing? You were just getting killed in there. So what? Who needed your help? Who asked for it? Wait a minute. What did I do that was so wrong? I asked them to play. I wanted to play. Why can't you just leave me alone for once? Because I'm your brother and I've been looking out for you your whole life. It's time to stop. Seneca Hunter now, Jamie. I'm sure Hanawa will be pleased to hear of it. Where is Hanawa? I thought he'd be feeling better today. Soon. She wears mom and pa here now. See it on my honor or Seneca. Hey, 
It's Mom's handkerchief. What do you suppose happened to them, Ethan? I want to go home. Can't stay here forever, Ethan. Aaron! Aaron, please come. Quickly. Upway. No, on our way. He asks you to help Hanoa. Hanoa is his youngest son. He would be grateful. Please. I'm not a doctor. Where's the medicine man? He went to another village where he is also needed. There is no one else. I told the Sachem that you were learning with one of your own medicine men. That doesn't mean I know enough yet. Doesn't mean that I can help him. The Sachem says that every person has been given a gift by the Creator to help people. He asks if you will try and heal his son. I can't. I can't. She can't do it. At least look at the boy, Aaron. He needs a doctor to cut it open and drain it out. Can you do it, Aaron? No, I, I could kill him. He needs his throat. I could cut his, his windpipe or an artery or something. I mean, he could go into shock and, and bleed to death. Even if I did everything right, his wound could fester and he still might die. But if what you're saying is true, then he will die anyway. Do you know how? I saw Dr. Bryant to two of them. I was there. I helped him out with the instruments. I, I just don't think I can do it. If you don't help him, he'll die. You have to, Aaron. You have to try. Sarah, look. Sarah, look. If that's not a sign from God, I don't know what is. We're gonna find those boys. What? What's going on? It's morning. You fell asleep? He's all right. gonna be all right. You saved his life, Aaron. I did, didn't I? I really did it. Sure did. The Satcham says that one day you will be a great healer, and he wants you to have this sacred medicine pouch to remember Hanoa and the Seneca. 
Thank you. Let's go see what's in it. You and your brothers are free to return to your people at any time. Just like that? We can leave? Yes. And you? I am to be married. Tell the Sachin that if he is truly grateful for what my brother did for his son, he will let you go with us. Ask him. Tell him I won't leave without you. It is not as simple as that. If you want to save your life and the lives of your brothers, then you must go alone. Now, there is no choice here. And you and Jamie should head back to the river and I'll catch up later. What? Shh, just keep on walking. Okay, I'm going. Now just hold on. If you're going back for her, I'm coming with you. Me too. You can't. We can help. How? By getting yourself killed? Aaron, you gotta take Jamie and find the rest of the family. I'll catch up with you later. Ethan, it's my turn to do something for you. Let me come with you. I can't. You gotta take Jamie, and you gotta get him safely out of here. Listen, I want you two to take care of each other. You take care. Go all by himself. No way. Let's not think we are. It's gonna have to. Come on, Jamie. Move it. Listen, I want you to come with me. You shouldn't have done this. Nasta Kute will have reason to kill you all. You talk about duty and honor. What about the duty to yourself? It's your life, you gotta choose what's right for you. This is not the man I promised the clan mothers of the Seneca that I would marry. That man would not face his enemy with a knife when the other has none. If you kill him with that knife, you will have to kill me as well. In the morning, the 
two of you shall face one another to decide the matter. Ona nekoi sao stakuti ha ano da au i yok nin yak. What'd you say to him? I told him I have made my choice. The choice was always mine, but I had to make it for myself. I can't walk anymore. Can we rest, please? So, what happens now? We go to the river and look for Mom and Pa. I have to go back to my village. To let them know I'm all right. I have to tell them about my grandfather and bring him back to his people. But I truly believe that my grandfather believed Ethan Fry. That eyes that meet the way ours did are meant to meet again. Many times. The river is there. That is the path you must take. I go that way. Will I ever see you again? There's nothing about the woods that a Delaware does not know. I will find you again, Ethan Fry.
Hello, Ethan. We've come to take you home. You got what you came for, me. So there's no reason to drag my brothers back with us. So why don't you just let them go so they can go look for my folks? What for? If they ain't showed up by now, they're probably dead.
Get them, Tavish! I said get them! It's your job, Tavish! You have wards for them! I said get them! You promised to let them go. I heard you. Ethan almost got killed trying to save your no life. Makes no difference what I said. I said to get them! I'm gonna tell my father, shut up, I'm gonna Pat, tell him you... Just shut up! You never did shoot that buck on Holcomb land, Ethan. I lied when I told my pa you did. But I'm gonna go back and tell him the truth. Tell him we found you, and we let you go. I'm gonna miss you, Ethan. You always did make life interesting. It's gonna be a cold winter. I know, Pa. I'm laying as much firewood as I can. Where are the boys? Dinner's almost ready. Oh, Ethan went over to the Blath place. He shot a wild turkey and thought they could use it for Thanksgiving meal. Jamie, how's that corn coming? It's more fun eating it than chucking it. I'm very pleased to meet you. I've heard a great deal about you. And I am pleased to meet you. Want to see her. Come on inside, Jamie. Wait, I want to see what you learned how to practice my button trick. I did it. I really did it. I made it disappear. I didn't even charge for it. How about I show you how to disappear, Jamie Fry? Thanks, Pa. Ethan Fry. 